Hi guys, welcome to the speed build video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building something very strange, a bit different. Today I'm building my eco ocean house, my jellyfish. I love building builds in the shape of different things like my Lotus Hotel I did like a month ago and I did Orca, a glass beach house in the shape of an Orca two weeks ago and I had so much fun with that build. I wanted to do something like that again. So today it builds in the shape of a jellyfish and it's a very exciting build because I was a part of a collab, an eco collab with some of the most amazing simmers Kate Emerald, Lady Manatee Gaming, Bendy Sims, Malin and Crystal Gamer. Thank you guys so much for inviting me for this collab. And the rule for the collab was to use some of the items from the Eco Lifestyle pack. We could build everything we want, anywhere we want. Uh, yeah, we only had to use a couple of these items from the new pack and yes, I'm a bit late. The other videos were uploaded last Monday. Maybe some of you guys noticed it already that my name was there, but I didn't have a video. I was a bit MIA the last week. I'm so sorry for that. I told you guys last week. That I was on a trip with my family. I was away with my mom and my dad. And yeah, long story. Um, my dad had to go to surgery on the other side of the country. I went with him to the hospital and it was a couple of days. And after these days, he was supposed to go home. He had to go to surgery on his spine. Surgery went totally fine, everything went great, so that's very good. But after a couple of days, there were some complications. And he will be okay though, but he has to stay in the hospital for six weeks. So, yes, the plan was to travel back with him. I had to drive him back because, yeah, it's on the other side of the country and he couldn't drive, of course, but he had to stay there. I had to go home because, of course, I have to work and everything like that. But I have to travel a lot back and forth now. It's a nine hour trip back and forth. So, of course, that took me yeah a lot of time. And for the next six weeks, yeah, I have to, to see him a lot. Of course, I want to support him and... Yeah, I think I will upload a little bit less. Of course, I will upload once a week at least. My goal is to upload twice a week, but when I'm missing a video here and there, you know why. But he will be fine though. He will be totally fine. But I wanted to explain you guys why I was yeah, MIA last week. I also wanted to thank you guys so much for the amazing comments on my post-apocalyptic build. It was something totally different. Uh, the other one I normally do, normally I love building these sleek builds, but it was something totally different. And I, yeah, I wanted to thank you guys so much for the response. And I love building that, yeah, that style. So I think I'm going to build that more often. But today, yeah, something totally different. This jellyfish. In, yeah, the whole time that I was talking, the entire jellyfish already is taking his shape. Uh, or her shape. It's, uh, of course, a lot of roofs. I combine them all together again. I love using the roofs in the game. I think it gives you so much possibilities in the game. And of course, yeah, today, a lot of roofs. I combine them all together. I use a lot of round roofs at the top. I think there are six roofs on different heights with different colors and in that way I wanted to make it look a little bit more like a jellyfish. And of course I'm using the method again, removing the walls underneath the roofs. I use the doors for it, I talked about it a lot. The basic principle is that you want to place a door on the wall underneath the roof, then you want to size it down with the bracket keys or your keyboards and then you want to raise it up or lower it down because you have to put the door on a place where you can cover it up easily. Right now I'm just keeping the doors on the place where I'm sizing it down but a little bit later on I will raise them up to the upper level 
full and over there I could cover them up very easily but of course you can see that in a couple of seconds or minutes I'm building this on this gorgeous lot in Sulani a 30 by 40 lot one of my favorite lots in the entire game I just love the look of that ocean, that amazing view. And if you can see that much palm trees, I think it's amazing for taking screenshots, but the overall look of the build as well. Yeah, it looks of course very tropical, but I always get the feel like it's a bit on a dis like it could be on a distant planet as well. So that's why I like it so much. Right now I'm building in the golden hour in the evening because I love the light so so much but in a couple of minutes you can see that i'm switching to the daylight like i said i love that golden hour it has a peachy glow all over the world it looks amazing and i use that light a lot in a lot of previous builds of mine but for this build i zoomed out a bit of the build when i was done with the entire shape of the jellyfish and I thought when I went to the daylight, it was way more blue, of course, and it looked a little bit like the jellyfish could be on the water. So that's why I decided to go for that look. I'm placing in the letters or just placed in the letters and man, I can't say it enough. I'm so happy with the letters in the game. I took a look at my builds, the builds I did the last weeks and since we have these letters and I think they all couldn't be possible if we hadn't these letters. Uh, this build as well. If we, don't, if we didn't have letters, I couldn't make something like this. And the post-apocalyptic thing, yeah, maybe that was possible though. But the monorail as well. I'm just so happy with the letters. It totally changed up the building game for me. Of course, uh, because I love building very strange things high up in the air. And you have to, you got to have space for, for letters, of course. And or for stairs normally and now we only need one square for letters the only thing that i would be more happy with if we could place it in the angle as well but now for now i'm just happy that we have these letters i just placed in these flowing flowers they came with the get to work pack and they're a debug item you have to use the double cheat to unlock them i thought a lot about what to do with the landscaping here it isn't that long of a video today but this build took me so much thinking time actually a lot of time me staring through my screen and just thinking what to do next uh, I had so much fun with it though, it sounds a little bit strange, but I had so much fun with it, but I had to think about it a lot and yeah, what to do with the landscaping, I wanted to do something with it, but of course I didn't want to distract of the jellyfish and I wanted to make it look like it could be on the water. I'm already on a different part now, I'm sorry, but yeah, I placed these flowing flowers in because I thought when I placed them at the edge of the whole jellyfish, it looked like the fish was moving. So I thought, yeah, it gave it a cool effect in that way. I just placed these steam crates in, these bubble steam crates. Uh, normally you can place them uh, in your pools to create that steam, but I thought they looked very cool over here as well. Yeah, these bubbles and that steam. I thought a lot as well about which way I wanted to go with this build, with this jellyfish. Did I want to go very fantasy, a lot of colors, or did I want to go very sleek and very modern? And I went through that very sleek style. But I still wanted to make it a bit fantasy, so that's why I placed all these bubbles and on this upper level as well. So as you can see, you can place them just on the ground too. You don't have to place them in water to work. Right here, you can see all the small doors that I raised up to cover up or to remove the, these walls underneath the roofs. Of course, I had to cover them up, so I used these Ottomans, they came with the spa day pack. I sized them down and I just placed them all around these doors. And then I placed these very cool plants in these purple things. Uh, talking about fantasy things, so they all came with the get to work pack. And yeah, in that way I could cover up the doors very, very easily, but still, yeah, make it look 
like it was inside the jellyfish. I know that sounds so, sounds so strange, but I wanted to give it that little bit of that look because it was so sleek and modern on the outside. I wanted to make it look a little bit like this, very colorful on the inside. Over here you can see some gorgeous eco lifestyle items. The bathtub is amazing with the glass edge. I didn't use it before. It was perfect for this build here, but it was so much fiddling around this part. He, over here is the roof. On top of this is the roof and I don't have a room here. I wanted to place a kitchen in of course and a bathroom, but I didn't have that much space. It looks like I have way more space. But because it's inside the roof, your sim cannot walk everywhere. And of course, the whole purpose of this build was to make something like this that is functional as well. Of course, I had to make it functional too. I play tested it a lot and I only could use this amount of a space here. But I think we're almost at the end yeah, of this video already. Like I said, it's kind of a short video. I'm very curious what you, yeah, what you thought about it. I'm very curious if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. You would make me very, very happy. Uh, like I said, my plan is to upload two times a week, but maybe it uh, sometimes will be once when I'm missing a video, you know why. Normally I say I hope to talk to you next Monday, but I'm not totally sure now. So I'm sure I will talk to you next Monday week i hope to talk to you next week when you're watching this yeah on the friday on the day when i upload this i hope you will have an amazing weekend an amazing day and yeah hope to talk to you soon goodbye